Hi, welcome to Mini Shops How to Sculpt videos with myself, Elizabeth, and today we'll be making mushrooms. Maybe many, many mushrooms. I'd love to see the mushrooms that you make. If you feel free to send a photo, I can feature them at the end of a future video. Let's get sculpting. You'll need a work mat to protect your tabletop. I just use a piece of paper usually, some red clay and some white clay. A potter's needle or a toothpick works well. A silicone dowel tool with a bald end. Now this can be anything. It can be a pen tip, it can be a pencil with a saran wrap over it, or the tools included in your DIY sculpting kit. Take your red clay and warm it up. You warm it up so it doesn't crack in the oven. And then you'll take the amount that you would like and you'll roll it into a ball, either between your fingers, between your palms or on your work surface. For a 3D sculpture, you're just gonna set that ball on your thumb and tap down on the sides to make it into a little gumdrop shape like this. You can also do that by twisting on your tabletop and pressing down. For earrings or pins or the like, you will do the same process, roll it into a ball, but then flatten that ball slightly, press it on your thumbs and kind of tap around to make it into a gumdrop. Make sure it rests on your work surface like this, because that will be against your ear or your clothes or whatever. So once we have those, we'll take a little bit of white clay, probably about a sixth as much or a quarter as much, something like that, and we'll warm it up too roll it into a ball, and then we'll press that flat. Then we will set that at the base of this little mushroom cap and tap it to secure it. And you can make it as puffy or as indented as you would like. I'll show you on this one. Instead of rolling into a ball, roll it into an oval and then press it flat and then set it at the base of the cap. Then we will take our sculpting tool, which can be any number of things, and just make a little indent there at the center of the bottom right there. And then we'll take our potter's needle or sculpting tool toothpick and press lines across from one edge of the base of the white to the other. And we'll go all the way around. You don't have to make them even across either. You can make them different sizes. And then on this one, just go from front to back like this. Also, if it's earrings, you'll want to make two of these, but if it's a pin, you can just keep it at one. All right, we'll take more white clay and we're gonna roll it out into a little skinny snake. We'll make it about a quarter of the thickness as our toadstool top. So for this one, I'll just give that top a little tap and then a little pinch, press it into that indent, and I'll break it off about halfway or a quarter or whatever height you would like it to be. You can also use a little blunt edge tool or a knife here and give it a little tap on the bottom like so. Set that on your work surface and give it a little twist. We can do the same thing with this one. Just roll out a little piece of clay, making it about a quarter of the width, pressing it into that indent and then pinching or cutting it off to be the desired height. Then we'll take our sculpting tool to just slightly press and smooth it in so that it's here. If it's the earrings or pins, I like to smooth all the way back here. And same on this one, just smooth it all the way around so it won't fall off. And optional is to draw lines similarly to how we did on the undercap on the stem of the mushroom. Next, we'll take our white clay again and we're gonna roll several tiny balls of white. Roll those balls and then we'll flatten them and we will set those on our toadstools. Give them a little tap and don't tap to the side but tap directly down, otherwise it'll smear. And I like to make these of varying sizes. They don't have to be even. If you want them to be even, you can you can roll all of the balls before you set them on your toadstool. But if you do that, the spacing between them might be a little difficult to get exactly perfect. But you can also make little large balls on there. Like you could make them even just like five large white spots, whatever you prefer. Just go all the way around. Pinching off a little white clay, rolling it into a ball, and then tapping it on there, repeating and repeating all the way around until you're happy with the number that you have, the number and the spacing that you have. I like that little guy, so I'll set him there. And we'll do the same thing on this style of mushroom, but you only have to do one side. It's a lot of little dots or blots, and it might seem tedious at some times, but I think that's the fun part and the really calming part is just a little bit of repetition and the fact that each one will look different. You can make them look kind of similar, but they will never look exactly the same. So each one's a unique little art piece. If you're turning your mushroom into a pin or an earring or the like, you'll bake that. And if you're turning it into a charm or an ornament, you won't bake it yet. That video is explaining those, but either way you do, I hope you had fun. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys. Bye.